Hello, I'm Nick Paradiso, Conveying Product Manager at Conair. I'm here to talk to you today about our truck fill proofing and the barcode addition that we've added to it for this newest release. In our industry, we have a lot of variables that are hard to control, and one of them is filling, this, uh, filling our silos with the right material. Because in most cases, your employees are not necessarily the ones that are hooking up the truck to the silo. Most of the time, it's the truck drivers that are doing it themselves. And communicating which silo to open up or which silo to hook up to uh, can be difficult at times. With this release of barcoding into our truck fill proofing system, we now have the ability to have a barcode or a QR code added to the bill of lading that's going to be sent with the resin uh, with the truck. Now, this barcode has a bunch of information associated with it. We have to know the material name. We also understand a lot number, and that lot number is going to be passed through the system in timestamp to understand when this new lot of material has been brought into your facility. But lastly, we also have the ability to understand the Julian date in this barcode. What a Julian date is, is a pretty much a 1 through 365 number that's associated with the day of the year that we're in. Now, the, in the control, we have the ability to set a certain time limit. So if I, bar, if I scan this bill of lading, and this bill of lading happened to be from three weeks ago, and it's not the correct piece of paper, even though the material is correct, and the lot number, whether we're not necessarily looking to proof that lot number, it's still going to pass that through the system. But I can tell it to accept this bill of lading or not. This is to protect any operators or any furthermore human error of pulling the wrong piece of paper or holding on to an old bill of lading and not taking the, the existing one that's coming on with the truck. This will ensure that when this bill of lading is generated, you can set this time as, as, as little as three days or four days, for example. Uh, where it, it leaves the facility, it leaves the compounder, it comes to your facility, and within those three or four days of transport, that's the time allowed that, uh, on that Julian date setting within the control itself. So let me show you how the system works. First, I'm going to log in, and through user permissions, it's going to open up and unlock certain um, levels of security, where the, uh, your operators or your plant level um, staff may only be able to barcode systems, where your admin or your supervisor may be able to manually unlock um, different silos based on if you do have a barcode or not for certain scenarios. Now that I'm logged into the system, it's as simple as telling the system that you'd like it to read a barcode, scan your bill of lading into the barcode scanner, and what's going to happen is it's going to open up all potential locks that are associated with this material. Um, in this case, I only have one lock that's associated with it, but in some cases, uh, if you do have multiple silos that can accept the same type of material, it's going to give you any, uh, any of these uh, certain um, selections to be made. I'm going to select gate 2, and notice I get it not only a green LED that this is the correct silo to open, because the, the, this is usually a remote system. This may be right on the inside of your shipping department, and the, trucks, the truck driver is outside in a, uh, in a silo farm or next to where your silos are. Uh, that's going to indicate that's the correct silo to open up. If I bring it up and, and hold it into the, uh, the top connection, um, once I take off this, um, this dust cap, the system also understands that that just happened because we have a proximity sensor that's reading if a dust cap is connected or not. Once we hook up the truck, we understand it's there, and now a timer has started. That timer is in, this, in the system because we understand that you don't want to leave a, a gate unlocked for a certain amount of time, and this is settable. It may be 10 minutes, it may be 30 minutes. Uh, once the truck driver is done, we also have to ensure that the gate is closed. Um, so once we uh, remove the truck, the truck line, we put the dust cap onto the system, and I now lock my gate, you're going to hear the solenoid is going to click on, and now this gate is now locked. I cannot open that up again. And because this is all time stamped and because this is all understood, we now have a, an accurate log in the system to understand what happened when and what user was logged in when this happened as well. The added benefit of adding barcoding into a system like this allows us to start the process towards barcoding a complete material handling system. Now that all of your materials that are brought in based on, uh, based on truck fill are now barcoded and accurately entered into the system correctly. And that's not only your material type, but that's also going to be your lot number. Um, in this specific case, you may have multiple lots. You may have lots that are layered inside of your silo itself, or you may want to trace this lot from the time that it entered the silo to then the time that it enters into your material handling system and follow it completely through the process to an end product.